We're gonna replace our front door weather strip that is on the body. This one is ripped. Getting it out of the vehicle, put rugs on it, tore it. See, it's one piece, it goes all the way around. That's where the seam is. Start with our plastic prying tool. If you don't have these, you can buy them from 1aauto.com. Gonna pry up this trim piece. I'm gonna remove this part of the dash, this cover, by pulling up on this, popping it out of the clips. You can see the weather strip seal goes behind this trim. And this trim sits in the channel. You need to remove this trim. Behind this, there's two blind clips. We're gonna take our plastic prying tool. And we're just gonna work at getting it out. Two clips here. So the middle clip actually stayed in the body, which is which is fine. We can clip that back in afterwards. This trim out of the way. Now we can lift the seal off the body seam. I'm just gonna unpeel it. Here is our our door weather strip, our old one. You can see it's it's ripped and rusty. That's where somebody's foot or leg was rubbing against it. There is metal inside of it that gives it shape. That's why this one sort of has like a square or rectangle shape because it's been in the vehicle for so long. It's formed to the body. The new strip from 1aauto.com is gonna come coiled up. That's okay as you put it back on the vehicle, it will form and follow these curves and that metal will bend, that's inside will bend to fit this curve. So as you can see, these are identical. They've got the same type of channel and you can just see the metal inside the new one. This is your outer part. Rubber's all nice and soft and new. This is torn up and worn out. So this new piece is gonna seal up your door nice and tight, keep out wind noise, and look a whole heck of a lot better than this old one. I'm gonna take our new weather strip, just kinda throw it around my neck so it's not hanging on the ground. This part goes to the outside. This part goes to the inside. I'm gonna roughly find where the old seam was. Looks like it's about here. Push that down. Keep working it all the way around the opening. It's gonna go underneath the dash. We've got some slack here, so we just need to keep working this back and forth and making sure that the seal is tight in all the corners. You can see on this car, you can just see a dirt ridge where the original was. I'm just trying to get this one as close as possible to take up any extra slack. So it's even closer this time. So now I'm gonna go in the other direction. Just keep working it in and try to make it tighter. As you can see, because we keep working it back and forth, making sure it's really pushed into these uh, corners, it now matches up. So after you've installed it, make sure that the rubber is on the top side of this trim here. If you need to flip it over, you can take your plastic trim tool, you can get these from 1aauto.com, and just sort of gently work it up. This trim goes on the underside of the dash, it goes over this trim here. I'm gonna take our plastic trim tool and just sort of run it over it, make sure it's in there. I'm gonna reinstall our trim piece that goes around the 
hood opener. This metal clip stayed in the body, so I'm just going to clip it back into that. The metal clip looks like this. I'm going to feed it over the hood latch. You might end up popping your hood open, so make sure you close it afterwards. There's a lip on this plastic. It's going to sit in the channel in the rubber strip. It's a matter of finding where those clips were. Push it back into place. Take our dash cover, put it back into the clips, into the slots. Take our sill plate, it's got clips, push that back down into place. Now we've got our nice, perfect weather strip installed. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.